I'm Riley Benavides. I'm a level 10 gymnast and I'm 17 years old. I'm Terry C. Chow, I'm 14 and I'm a level 9. I'm Miley Raynon, I'm 13 and I'm a level 8 gymnast. I'm Ryan Markowitz, I'm 15 and I'm a level 10. I'm Savannah Berry, I'm 13 years old and I've been a gymnast for 11 years. I'm Nicholas Davisio, I am a level 9 and I'm 13 years old. To do gymnastics and school at the same time is really difficult. In my opinion, managing school and gymnastics is actually kind of tough. Uh, managing school and gymnastics actually isn't easy. I always get home late and then I have to do my homework and eat and shower and stuff. The way I manage it is just by staying up late. Um, I actually stay up till about almost midnight because homework is pretty severe. At school, I just try to get like my homework done as soon as possible. Like. If like in a class period we're not doing anything, I just get another uh, class and do the homework for that. So I have like as little homework as possible like when I get home from gym. Uh, I do homework at school and in the morning before school. Well, I try to do my homework in class, some of it, and then when I come back after um, gymnastics, I do it at home. I usually do my homework after school, um, in between like classes sometimes and uh, I do it after practice. Um, if you're trying to take the hardest classes, then it's gonna be a lot more difficult since the workload's hard and you have like half as much time as everyone else to complete the homework and all the assignments. You know, I could be doing uh, other activities, but I love the sport, I love doing gymnastics. I sacrifice a lot of my time uh, to do gymnastics. Uh, I'd say it's my family because I really only see them for at most two hours a day and I just wish I could get more closer with them. We, we're in the gym a lot so you miss a lot out on school events, uh, just hanging out with your friends. It's kind of like a, a love-hate relationship kind of because uh, I really like the opportunity that I've gone to do gymnastics all my life but at the same time it's kind of like a struggle because then again uh, I'd really like making uh, a lot of like memories uh, as I was a child, but at the same time, I've also making a lot of memories uh, as like in gymnastics. Um, I think it's worth it. I think it's a great experience um, to just be able to be with all these guys and stuff. All gymnasts get sore from all the conditioning and work we put in to do gymnastics, but my injury is that parts of my knee bone are chipping off because I put so much stress on them every day. I, did, I tore my shoulder last year, so that was a big sacrifice for me because I had to do surgery. But I'm all recovered now, so it's all good. Gymnastics especially puts a lot of stress on my ankles, and in total I've sprained them eight times. But I really wouldn't give up this opportunity for anything else in the world. Gymnastics put a lot of stress on our bodies, but I wouldn't change it for the world because gymnastics is the sport I love. You just really have to work hard every day and never hold back. You just have to keep persevering through it. Yeah, I really do love doing gymnastics and all the people I've met doing it. Gymnastics has taught me many valuable things like how to focus and communicate and how to persevere through things. And doing gymnastics for so long has helped me see that if you work for something for a long time, you will eventually accomplish what you want to. If you also love doing the sport, then it shouldn't be a very big deal to do what you love every day.